Welcome back. One of our state's historic covered bridges is now under restoration, and so the road is closed temporarily. This means drivers might need a backup plan. Heather Hale has more on this story for this week's Road Patrol in Barber County. She joins us now live. She's right here in the studio. Heather. That's right, Don. The beginning stages of the restoration project on the Carrollton Covered Bridge are underway. When the work began on July 11th, traffic could continue after work hours Monday through Friday, but after assessing the bridge, workers have decided that because of the type of work that needs to be done and for driver safety, it will now be closed through all hours of the day until the project is completed. Workers say that drivers should be aware of this change and find an alternate route to travel. Average daily traffic for the bridge was 250 people a day, according to the West Virginia DOH. Many travelers use this bridge to go to Audra, and they should plan in advance for this road closure. We had hoped to be able to keep it open in the evenings outside of work hours. But, you know, like I said, as we started working on it and cleaning it up, we realized pretty quickly we need to go ahead and just shut it down and, and just to make sure, just a safety precaution to, to keep it closed and allow us to do some of the things we need to do that would interfere with traffic driving through the bridge. The restoration work is being done by the District 7 bridge forces of the West Virginia DOH. Borum says this is not generally the case for a project of this nature and that the work is usually done by an outside agency. He also says that workers are excited for the opportunity to do this work on one of the historic covered bridges in their district. And if, you know, there's a period of time where we can open it up for the evenings or for some period of time when, you know, depending on where we're at with the project, we'll certainly try to accommodate the traveling public as much as we can. The restoration was expected to cost $1 million at the beginning of the project. Borum says that trying to estimate how long the project will take to complete is difficult due to the nature of this repair. So if you visit our station's website at WVOI.com, you can find a video of me walking beside the bridge to show you its current condition. Reporting for this week's Road Patrol in Barber County on the temporary closure of the Car Carrollton excuse me, covered bridge, I'm Heather Hale.